Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. People, people, are going, are going. I just hope everybody is doing great. Only know that from forward, I come with the latest updates, so I can get right into it. A 44-year-old man was disarmed by a 16-year-old boy on Chisholm Avenue in St. Andrew on Sunday and the firearm handed over to the police. Reports from the Constabulary Corporate Communication Unit are that the two were involved in a dispute about 2 p.m. The older man is alleged to have pulled a firearm and pointed it at the teen. A struggle reportedly ensued during which the teen allegedly used a machete to inflict wounds to the suspect, managing to relieve him of the firearm. CCU said the police were informed that the weapon, a 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 9mm cartridge, was handed over to them, along with the 44-year-old man. The suspect was treated at a medical facility for his injuries and remains in police custody. 28-year-old Chinloy Spencer, otherwise called Todo, who was featured on the Jamaica Constabulary Force Wanted Wednesday campaign, was captured during a target operation in Therese District, Claremont, St. Anna, on Sunday, February 27. Spencer was wanted for a murder in St. Mary. Reports are that between the hours of 1.25 a.m. and 2 a.m., a police team went in Therese District in the search of Spencer. A premises was carted off and searched. And Spencer and another man was found inside a one-bedroom structure. They were taken into police custody. A gardener who fell into a pit in Swanky Coral Gardens community in Montego Bay, St. James, is feared to have died. Members of the fire brigade are now attempting to rescue the man from the pit. Residents claim that the gardener was working at a premises when he stepped on the cover of the pit, which gave way. Cesspool operators are said to have already removed the load of effluent from the pit. More information to come. Then people, on a sit out trouble in a set like rain, you cannot mind your own business and your three points just gone just the same. Same. So now always bear in mind, no matter how bad on the day I go, all if you not broke out and have no money, once you have your three points and you're safe, everything good. Another day above ground is always a blessing. A 23-year-old man was killed in a crash on Lakovia Main Road in St. Elizabeth on Sunday. He has been identified as Demarco Deeble, otherwise called Pi, of Burnt Ground District in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Police reports are that about 1.30 a.m., Deeble was traveling in a Toyota Axiomoto car towards Santa Cruz when the driver lost control of the vehicle and crashed on the Lakovia Bridge. Deeble was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. In addition to that, one woman has died and five men are nursing injuries after a vehicle they were traveling in collided with a park truck in the community of Rose Eyed St. James on Sunday night. The deceased has been identified as 36-year-old Simone of Ponside District and over address. Councillor for the Montego Bay South Division told our news team that he was just meters away from where the accident took place. Upon turning onto 41 Boulevard in Rose Heights, I heard a loud collision, just about 200 meters down the roadway. I realized that a vehicle had hit into a parked truck, he said. Residents ran to the assistance of the people in the car. I immediately turned around the pickup truck that I was driving and assisted five young men to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Another individual, a woman, was pinned under the steering wheel, he continued. The residents were unable to take her out, so I left the scene and head to the hospital and returned within 10 minutes to see if they were able to help the young lady from the vehicle, he told our news team. He later said a former fireman and an emergency medical technician shared that the firefighters used all different types of tools to get the young lady out. They were unable to find a pulse and there was no sign of life, he said. The other occupants of the car are said to have received severe injuries. He also stated that one of the injured persons appeared to be about 14 years old. A homemade shotgun was seized by the Linstead police during a snap raid along the Banbury Main Road in Linstead St. Catherine on Sunday. Reports are that about 11.30 a.m., lawmen were in the area when a firearm was found on an open lot. No one was arrested in relation to the seizure, the police reported. Detectives assigned to the Kingston Western Division have listed a man only known as Pepper of Matches Lane address in Kingston as a person of interest in the recent fire that took place at the railway market on Tuesday, February 22nd.
and at the Oxford Mall in downtown Kingston on Saturday, February 26. Pepper is being urged to turn himself into the Nemantown police before 12 p.m. on Monday, February 28, the police said. A teenager is suspected to have drowned at a river in Plum Valley, Buff Bay, Portland on the weekend. He has been identified as 18-year-old Romario Grant, a chef of Lorna Avenue, Kingston 19. Reports are that Grant was among a group of people swimming in a river in Plum Valley District about 1 30 p.m. on Saturday when he got into difficulties and drowned. Several people reportedly attempted to rescue him, but their attempts failed. The police were later alerted and the body was removed to the mark. A post-mortem is to be conducted. The Portland police are carrying out investigations into the incident. People, a video of this incident is available you now. So if you're interested for see it, you know, just follow the usual procedure. Go down below in the description of this video where you will see a link to the Chop City Telegram group. Just click on the link. You automatically join the group and the video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested in seeing the video, no worries. Just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I. TY underscore TV, send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. That one is rough bar. Our news team understands that a police constable is now hospitalized in serious condition after being shot by another constable during an altercation on Monday morning. The injured constable, who is said to be assigned to the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, was reportedly shot in the upper body. You see, I'm continuously telling us say, everybody just have a point for proof and we need some anger management classes. Just look how far this reach this morning you mean for tell me say the town as colleagues the big big police have a little altercation like a disagreement and could like resolve it any other way i only supposed to have set example for everybody else you know and just look what wanna pull off this no look good enough it even sound good on a need to get suspension for this man i lie on must learn how to deal with things better just imagine you would accuse a deal with a regular civilian how you would deal with them if you had deal with your own colleagues so People don't just think about it. Viewers and subscribers, a phone of time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion is valid. So I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.